I outlined the session. We'll begin with the introduction and terminologies to low birth weight. Then we'll go to the clinical case scenario, proceed to the etiology, clinical features, investigations, and this we will discuss first of the preterm neonate and then of the growth retarded neonate. Finally, we'll summarize the management together because both these components, the preterm and the small for gestational age baby, the management has essentially got the same principles. Hence, I have clubbed the management as a single heading as the management of the low birth weight infant. Then the summary and the take home message and finally my test time. So first, let's begin with the introduction and terminologies to low birth weight. The incidence of prematurity according to WHO is 5 to 18 percent in the world with 15 million babies born preterm each year and this is the statistics of 2019. The incidence in India is 16.4 percent as compared to 5 percent in Japan and 7 percent in the United States of America. One of the main contributory causes of neonatal mortality is the low birth weight population of infants and neonates. The incidence of long-term morbidity is high as we will learn over the course of this class and this is three to four times more than those in normal neonates. And finally, this entire population is at risk for poor child survival contributes to mortality and morbidity in the under, under five age group. Now, what are the definitions? There are certain terminologies and nomenclatures which are specific for low birth weight. So let's begin with definitions. The definition of low birth weight was initially given as per the weight. Here, low birth weight, that is the weight of the infant at the time of delivery, if it was less than 2.5 kgs, it was classified as low birth weight. Soon, we found there's a group which, which had different mortality and morbidity statistics. They came to those below 1.5 kg at birth and they were grouped as the very low birth weight. And there was another group which comprised of less than 1 kg at birth and these were the extremely low birth weight neonates. Now this is the classification as per weight of the neonate. But however, we found that when we classify neonates as per birth, there was a big difference regarding the maturity, which we'll see later. So came the classification as per gestation. Now as per gestation, a preterm neonate is one who is born before completing 37 completed gestational weeks and a term baby is one who is born after completing 37 completed gestational weeks at birth. Now when we classify two separately like this, what do you think the challenges will be in this kind of classification? Let me give you the answer. Birth weight alone cannot explain the maturity of the baby. This is very important and maturity of the baby does not mean an adequate birth weight. Now, how do you explain this? Let me give you an example. Take a baby who is 2.5 kgs. Now, by all probable definitions, this baby is not low birth weight. This is a normal birth weight baby. But however, if you looked at the time of delivery of this baby, this baby was delivered at 35 weeks gestation. So now we have a baby who is delivered nearly five weeks before the expected date of delivery and nearly two weeks before the term gestation. And but the, according to birth weight, the baby is normal birth weight, but has all the problems of a preterm baby. Now look at the another situation. Another situation is think of a baby who is two kg at birth, but however has been delivered at the expected date of delivery, that is at 40 weeks of gestation. Now this baby will be low birth weight, but however, this is a completely mature baby who does not have half the problems that a preterm baby has. So you find that at 35 weeks, a 2.5 kg baby may not be just small for gestation, large for gestational age. It has the problems of a preterm baby, which are completely neglected when we say this baby is normal birth weight. However, we find a baby at term who is low birth weight but may not have as many problems as such because the maturity is full at 40 weeks. So we needed a classification or a way to segregate babies, this entire group of low birth weight babies based upon both their maturity as well as their birth weight. That is how the classification as I will be discussing later came about. So both maturity in terms of gestational age and the birth weight need to be interpreted together and not independent of each other to correctly interpret the intrauterine and the extrauterine adjustment of that fetus who is born. 
this is the reason why the newer classifications and definitions came about. That is, when we consider both weight and gestational age, we have to use growth charts for plotting the weight as a function of gestation to classify the newborns into three major classifications. First is called the appropriate for gestational age. When we say appropriate for gestational age, which means for that gestation the birth weight is adequate. Which means for that gestation the birth weight lies between the 10th and the 90th centile in that growth chart. It is neither small for that gestation, neither is it big for that gestational age. This classification takes into consideration both the time at which the baby is born, that is the gestational age, plus the weight of the baby. If a baby is born 3 kg at birth, this is normal birth weight. But however, this baby is born at 34 weeks. So when we plot according to this chart, a 3 kg baby born at 34 weeks will be normal birth weight alright, but still it is a preterm and it will no longer be appropriate for that 35 weeks. It will become large for gestation and a large baby for 35 weeks. The same 3 kg baby born at 37 to 40 weeks will be appropriate for that term gestation. That classification will hence help to correctly interpret both the growth and the functional maturity of the baby. So the first part is appropriate for gestation. Second, we have the small for gestation age baby. Meaning if you have a baby who is 36 weeks but only 1.2 kgs. That time these babies will be 36 weeks maturity but weight wise they are only 1.6 kgs. 